in Rogers the key um, component to keeping our data clean that we are constantly emphasizing is the accessibility, ease of access, and eyes on data. So the more people who are looking at the data, the cleaner it's going to be. Um, and, and so we facilitate lots of trainings to make sure everyone's aware of um, all of the data tools that are available to them. Um, if it's Triand, we also have our own local um, database. It's a FileMaker dashboard system, nothing real fancy, just a full historical picture of all uh, district data that we have stored back to like 2005. So anything and everything you might want to know about a child who has ever been in Rogers, um, we keep in that local database. Um, so just keeping it all easily accessible, making sure people are aware of how to get to those tools, how to utilize those tools, what they, what information is stored there, how to interpret it. Um, I think that's like the key thing in Rogers to keeping our data clean is eyes on the data. So and understanding all of the ways that the data is being used. That's even like the bigger, um, especially for our administrators. Where is this data going to? Wait, where did this company, this community, this newspaper, where are they finding this information? Or how is this ESSA calculation? How do they come up with this letter grade? So just understanding where it's coming straight from your e-school cycle data that you are submitting, um, that, that checking that data is one of the most critical components to accurate data reporting. So. Inaccurate data can result in significant things like inaccurate funding, um, inaccurate allocations of staffing, and inequitable access to services. Um, if you don't have your ESOL kids all coded accurately in a timely manner, your, your enrollments between buildings it, it before rollover, making sure all those um, grade level promotions are, are ready to roll whenever that rollover happens, that their schedules are ready to to, to upload. Biggest thing to me, because my title in Rogers is Director of Data Analysis and Accountability, is the accountability component. So if it goes into your graduation rate and those numbers that were included in your cycle report were inaccurate, then that's certified data. And it's so hard to convince our, our staff here that there's really nothing with that point you can do to correct those errors that we certified and said were accurate when we submitted them. Just regularly pulling and monitoring reports myself and then sharing them with appropriate staff as I see necessary. What's going on with this? There's a lot of Fs occurring over here. Um, is your teacher keeping up with the grade book? Um, just identifying inconsistencies in any kind of data using uh, Cognos reports. So I, and then I end up setting up Cognos reports because I've wet their appetite for that data. Okay, so this is something we could pull help. And so I'll ask them, how often do you want it? Do you want to see it weekly, monthly, semester, quarterly? And I, I let them tell me exactly who they want to be able to see that report. Um, what day of the month, they, at what time of the day. So I set it up in Cognos to send that to the people they need it going to. We have reports for grades, for attendance, for uh, dyslexia coding. Um, there's just co coded, scripted, scheduled reports in Cognos uh, running constantly. And, be um, and because we're always in there from the district level, in the, in the data and, and generating reports and sending out reports to the principals, it, it has that effect of, oh, somebody's looking at this. Okay, wait. Spring progress monitoring and collaboration was what it was called the last time we had one, which was February 2020. <laughs> so we have not had one since then, but those were happening every semester. And it's where the principal and assistant principal and sometimes a, a literacy or math facilitator would come to the district office and just share their data and their takeaways um, and what they're doing about it. That was what most of this discussion was about, about our format changed several times over the year to meet their needs. We wanted it to, to be something, not more work for them. So most of what they're presenting, I'm giving to them so they can look at 
you know, how is my school, how's this grade level, how is this teacher, this subgroup of students in the same format as all the other schools that are coming to the table. And then they come together and say, well, what did you do? It's more of a collaborative discussion. You had huge growth with this group of kids. What did you do differently here? What do you attribute that to? So it's been more of a best practice sharing in the last couple of years. Um, but because they know that they have those semester data review sessions where they're, the data that's being shared and, and presented to them from the district office, they're going to have to come and discuss that. They, they're looking at it really, really close. We, they know it's being measured, it's being watched, and people are questioning it. And, and they know whenever they're an outlier, if it's a really good positive outlier, or really bad negative outlier, whatever has happened in whatever we're looking at in that data, if it's discipline, grades, attendance, whatever the data element is, they're going to have people asking them questions about it. So they're going to try to figure out if they can isolate a variable that caused that and what they're doing to replicate or make sure it doesn't happen again.